Yeah, service is something like when people think of spirituality, uh, many traditions, like think of, like Mother Teresa sometimes comes to mind, when people think of, of genuine, authentic service. And I think it's, it's kind of like a, a stepping stone idea in the sense that when the mind is kind of addicted and stuck in this egocentric mode, uh, where everything is, you know, me, myself, and I, in a small I sense, you know, look out for number one, you know, uh, always watch out for number one, the number one being the personality self. Um, that service can be a mechanism that, that, and a metaphor that the Holy Spirit uses to kind of pop the mind, loosen the mind from this very egocentric uh, perspective of of doing everything for one's own personal self. And underneath that, of course, is the, the belief that I can create myself, that I can make myself any way that I want to be, and I can remake myself, and I can reinvent myself. You know, there's a lot of spiritualities that talk about reinventing yourself. There's even uh, New Age philosophies. I remember going into a New Age store and, and reading a a magazine and it said, create your own reality, uh, right on the front cover. And then people say, yeah, the Course is uh, new age like that. You can create your own reality. That's more like the secret. <laughs> you know? It's more like you can, can invent your own illusion, is a better <laughs> reinterpretation of create your own reality. It's just invent your own illusion, which really doesn't make you happy. Uh, to invent and reinvent illusions, because illusions are false. It's just like playing around, tinkering around with the false. So, in one sense, this sense of service can be a very helpful step, and it's more of a backdrop, though, for watching your mind, for getting out of, of just thinking everything in terms of how can I benefit the personality self, because the ego can it's just a metaphor along the journey. The ego can jump in there with the service idea and run with that too. And wow, you talk about burnout. <laughs> you get into burnout in a big way when you get into, you know, nothing, nothing greater than you know laying down your life to serve others and this and this and this. You can seem to be so other directed that you just totally burn out. And it's no wonder why people that get into like social services, uh, you know, they get in for wonderful reasons. You know, they, they get in to be helpful, kind of altruistic, real loving reasons. And then the ego is like a spider sitting back there, going, uh, going for the old service one here. I can twist this one around and, and burn you out and get you disillusioned in a hurry. And so there starts to come a point on the spiritual journey where you start to train your mind to see that everything is is thought and that the, really the service you're doing is learning how to forgive and re release attack thoughts from consciousness. Now that's service. That's really getting into service. That's Lesson 23 of the Course in Miracles workbook. I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts. It's almost like the culmination of those first 22 lessons. <coughs> Just giving you a, here's where you're going for it. This is your ultimate service. And in that sense, people have said to me, you know, if it is about service, then, then you see someone like Mother Teresa, who was known for, you know, serving, and she said, was here to serve the poorest of the poor. <coughs> and you have somebody like, we'll say, like a, a yogi, or a meditator who seems to be just sitting on his bum <laughs> the whole time. And it would seem like from the service model, it's like, get out of your cave <laughs> and save somebody, feed somebody, help somebody. You can see from the form, when you try to gauge and judge the service, you can't really do that. You know, uh, Jesus has a section in his course where he, he calls it, you know, I need to do nothing. And he's actually saying in there that if you really want to show your loyalty, loyalty to me and escape thousands of years of, of struggle, just do this one thing for me 
and it's, I need to do nothing. You know, it's really practice this. Of course, there are those that try to practice that and go, oh, this isn't so easy. <laughs> the practice, I need to do nothing, that's a pretty high, high form of uh, thing. And then he says in there, you know, from this point of stillness and silence, you will be sent on many busy doings. <laughs> It's kind of like, oh great, you want me to be loyal and, and do nothing, and then I get sent on many busy doings. But it's, it's just kind of getting lined up and yielding into that purpose, so that you get into this state of mind where you see that miracles are involuntary, that you can't control and direct the miracle, and neither can you judge this sense of service in terms of form because true service is really an alignment in purpose, that's what the service is.